Hi guys, I received a message from Jesse is Ballin13. It says, boot up question. Is there any way to change how it looks? Like when my computer is starting up, it says Windows XP Professional. I think it means professional. Uh, then you can see it loading or whatever. Is there any way to change how it looks? I think it's called the boot up. Uh, please reply if you do know. Now it's actually called the boot screen or the boot logo. And um, people have been doing this since Windows 95. But in Windows 95 you could just modify a bitmap or an RLE file or something like that. And it was just one file and you could um, modify it and then it would change the boot screen. You could edit it in paint I think at least. But with the XP it works a little bit differently and it's actually put inside the ntoskrnl.exe I say ntos kernel now um, there are several ways you can modify this the file is located inside C Windows System32 and then ntos kernel it's down here but you may not be able to see this you may need to go to tools folder options view and then uh, scroll down a little bit and then untick hide protected operating system files now if you go to rename this or delete this I think Windows file protection will kick uh, they will kick in and then um, it will ask you to insert a disk or it will copy the file back or anything like that so I suggest not modifying this directly make a copy of it and um, well I'd suggest making a copy of it anyway for backup purposes but make a copy of it edit that and then replace it in safe mode that's the way you should really do it so um, I'm just going to show you some ways to uh, change your boot screen basically from the standard Windows XP. So um, if you don't want to mess about with this um, whole NTOS kernel file, you just want to be able to download a boot screen and um, just use it and then not worry about anything and just want it to be safe and not worry about blue screening because it is risky business uh, modifying this file. So um, you, if you want to do that then you, I suggest downloading Boot Skin. It's very popular, it's by Stardock and it's free to download. I'll provide the link in the description. Now all you need to do is run this file, um, run this uh, shortcut even, and you can. it's basically just got a list of uh, different boot screens you can have. Now I've added my own in here, I've said Nightclub, and you can preview the ones that you've got. See it says Windows XP Nightclub Edition, I like that for some reason. And um, if you want to download some more, uh, you can actually just click that and it will go straight to its boot skin gallery and uh, there's quite a few here um, hoping that Explorer won't crash for some reason it usually crashes there we go so um, you just got a bunch of boot screens here it says page 1 of 799 and the most recent one updated was March 21st so it's only a couple of days ago that this guy made, has made this um, boot screen so um, 799 pages so you're, you're free to scroll through them obviously you can sort them by most downloaded and featured and things like that but um, when you go to download them you just download them and then click the download button uh, it will come up as a file that says dot boot skin I think and then um, you just open it and it will open inside this boot skin application and you can select which one you want so all I'm going to do is I'm going to select nightclub and I'm going to apply it so it says boot screen applied successfully it's going to be used next time this machine is booted so I'm just going to close this and I'm going to restart my computer to show you it now this is all working in a virtual machine so I can actually show you it restarting um, because it's the easy way, easiest way to do it without having to get a camcorder out and film my own computer. So this is now starting up with there you go, Windows XP with its new boot screen. So that's quite good. Now the next thing to do is um, you can modify the NTOS kernel directly by using a program called Resource Hacker. Now this is a great program. I strongly suggest you get it if you want to start uh, editing things to do with Windows like the Start button text or the logo or things that are in uh, dialog boxes and things like that you can start editing with resource, ha resource hacker um, quite a lot of things that you can do with that program but I'm going to actually use it to modify this NTOS kernel which is on my desktop so I'm not actually modifying the actual proper one so I'm going to open it uh, NTOS kernel and you can see that there's a um, sort of a directory tree listing now I'm just going to go to view and expand tree and you notice there's a bunch of things here uh, you can actually just go onto each one and view what they are so this is hibernating. These are all things that you can actually edit yourself. So I'm just going through them all. Now this is uh, number five. This for Windows XP Professional is number five. And you can basically replace this Windows XP thing because this is what's shown at boot up. So all you need to do is go to Action, Save Bitmap, and then you can save it as whatever on the desktop. And then you can edit it in Paint. Start editing it, blah, 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 blah. And then once you've done, 
Uh, just go to action and then replace bitmap and then you can open your file you just made and you can replace it in here and then um, you just basically save it and then in save mode you just copy it across and overwrite it now uh, like I said it is risky business because if you screw up then you blue screen your computer and then you have to revert back now if anything happens uh, I think one way to go is to go to run MS config now if you don't like your boot screen at all and you just don't want anything uh, we, this isn't recommended but you just go to the boot any tab of um, sysconfig and just tick the no GUI boot and then you won't have anything as a boot screen and that will just go straight into Windows but that's not recommended because if your PC freezes you'll just have a black screen uh, it's recommended to have something show as it goes along as it loads so um, that's two ways here that's downloading your own and um, editing just a little bit of the boot screen now uh, there is another one called boot editor this is one I've been using. I'm just going to double click it and show you. Uh, it says bootedator.exe. Just going to double click that. Do you want to read the README doc? No. And you can see that I've actually got two things here, um, which I'm not sure if it was made by um, made by Bootskin. But I'm actually going to delete this and then add it again. Now what it's done is added an option to um, my boot menu, so I can um, choose the testing version or just Windows XP when it starts. You know, like when you have you can have a choice of operating system, so it says Vista XP sometimes if you dual boot. Uh, anyway, you just get a list when you start your computer and it will say testing version or normal version. So um, we're here we are in boot editor. Now I'm just going to go to file, new boot screen, and then it just says new zip file, new zip file format, under base folder, that I don't really care, I'm just going to say D. OK. So you can see that it's got Microsoft Windows XP. Now I can actually drag this up and down so I can have this load wherever I want it to. Um, but that's uh, that's you can change that if you want to but I'm just going to leave it as it is uh, so I'm just going to modify this main one you can choose uh, other ones for like different versions but I'm just going to modify the main for the second um, I'm just going to right click this and say open for editing now it will probably say on your PC that hasn't got the application or something you need to go to uh, bitmaps options it says program to start for image editing just put this in or something and put C instead of D or navigate to system32 MS Paint so then it opens up in paint so what I'm then going to do, I'm just going to add my own little text at the bottom here or something um, just make it here and uh, I'm going to make it transparent and change the colour to white and I'm just going to say Duncan's Edition and uh, that's it really, so it's just going to say what's up Windows XP Duncan's Edition and then I'll save it so it's, it's actually saved it in the same format that I opened it in so it's kept all the stuff ready to go and uh, all I'm going to do is load image, go to desktop, uh, didn't save it in desktop did it, let's see where it's put it, <laughs> um, where did I save it, oh dear, ok right I'm going to edit it again, I'm oh, sorry about that, <laughs> uh, pick one.bmp, uh, Duncan's edition, so I'm just going to save it as and put it on the desktop, pick one, so there we go, that was a bit weird, but anyway, uh, load image, desktop, pick one, and it's now loaded it inside this boot editor so all I'm going to do is I'm going to press make and it's uh, going to make it and it's going to say after creation set this as the new boot screen for testing it so it's going to put it into my second test bit just go click OK new boot file created and it's now put it into that test thing that I shoot now once I've tested it and I found out it's OK all I need to do is go to file and then put this boot screen to the default OS so that's about it really, um, once you've done that and you want to get rid of that extra boot screen I think you can just uh, choose something like, um, a sin it might be in there somewhere, if not you can go manually to my computer, right click properties, advanced, startup and then you can edit this um, boot.ini and then you can change the second one and take it out where it says OS for testing new boot screen, you can just take that whole lot out and then it will stay with the first one I'm actually going to do that because I don't want my testing bit here so just going to save that and uh, that's pretty much it really so um, that's editing your boot screen in various ways I recommend just doing boot skin because it's the easiest and you can just download one instead of bothering doing it manually or hacking the actual file you don't have to worry about that you can just uh, just download a boot skin and do it yourself so that's about it really, thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.